sample mounting for SEM, bulk samples. This video is brought to you by the Electron Microscope Unit at the University of New South Wales Mark Wainwright Analytical Centre, a node of the Microscopy Australia network. By bulk samples, we mean a solid piece of material that can be manually manipulated with gloved hands, tweezers or forceps. Examples include samples in polished resin blocks, petrographic thin sections, wafers, glass, insect parts, and industrial materials such as metals or mineral composites. When mounting samples for SEM, our main goals are to secure the sample to the SEM stub so that it does not move during examination in the microscope, and to ensure that the negative charge generated by the electron beam has a pathway away from the sample surface to the conductive stub base. Materials. A sample or piece of sample Use the smallest piece possible that you can easily manipulate and that contains your features of interest. An SEM stub. Double-sided adhesive. At the EMU, we provide users with double-sided conductive carbon tape. A fine permanent marker. Gloves. And a SEM sample storage box. Additional materials you may find useful include tweezers or forceps, single-sided conductive tape, scissors, a stub lifter, and a pin stub holder. Preparation method. Step one, put on gloves. Always keep fingerprints off anything that will go into the SEM chamber, such as stubs and samples. Step two, choose a stub compatible with the SEM you will be using. If possible, ensure the sample fits within the stub diameter. SEM stubs available through the UNSW EMU currently include 12.6mm and 25mm pin stubs and 15mm and 25mm screw thread base stubs. Step 3. Label the underside of your SEM stub with the sample name or ID code. Step 4. Place one side of the double-sided adhesive onto the SEM stub. Use only enough adhesive to ensure that the sample can be securely attached to the stub. Remove the protective film to expose the surface of the double-sided adhesive. Step 5. Center the sample on the stub and adhesive and apply gentle pressure to fix the sample securely. Take care not to damage the surface to be examined or to touch it with bare fingers. Step 6. For resin-mounted samples, connect the sample surface with the SEM stub using single-sided conductive tape. Ensure that the tape makes good contact with the surface, including at the edges. Do not place tape on or near an area of the sample that you wish to examine. Step 7. Place the mounted sample in a secure SEM storage box. Keep samples stored in a clean, dry environment. <laughs>